<laughs> Hello there. You caught me just admiring the view from our bus. <laughs> Come and our follow camper me. Van. We're going to do a little tour. First of all, we have the outside area, which is which is mainly consumed by chairs, drying towels, backpacks, and shoes. Mm -hmm. so, um, and also. I don't know what they're called, blocks for the tyres. Yeah, this we're level. The, this is the first time we've used these levelling blocks and actually done it without destroying either a tyre or the front section of the vehicle. Itself. So what is the vehicle? It's a Ford Toronto Torino. Custom. Torino Custom. Yeah, it's a lovely car. It's a lovely van. And we've had two people admire it and come up to us and ask us more about it. And we, we know have. nothing, so that's really fun. Yes, so, so we've got a pop-up roof up already. Red. So Although we would suggest... I mean, not red. Are amazing because it looks like the 80s. Mm. However, I would say don't go for a red box when it's quite evening. It basically burns your eyes from the redness of it. Yeah, it's not very peaceful. Minute, let's look at the back. So, here it is. So, oh, first of all, there's kind of like the living quarters. Now, if this wasn't up, it can be quite low down, but when you park, you can have this area up. There's mm -hmm. a mozzie net there, it's got a plastic uh, window there. And then all around there's windows here with curtains and this window and then the opposite counterpart window open. So you can let, if you're cooking, it's a good idea, especially if you're cooking burgers, because we found out the hard way it stinks. <laughs> uh, you can let the air through. This is quite nice. However, if you're, again, if you're camping around Scotland, then mozzies will destroy you. So you have to keep it closed every now and then. Yes. Um, uh, we did discover also when we were in another caravan park back near the Isle of Skye, that you can buy netting for your door. Yeah, we'd have that, idea. so that's we'd not a tour, is it? We're still naive, we're very, very young at this. What about storage on the kitchen? So the storage, you have knife and fork uh, drawer, just here, which includes, uh, well, this is what we got given. We got a potato peeler, we could have used that for the carrots. Oh, wow. Idiots. Uh, tin, uh, can opener, scissors, and obviously, you know, knife fork, blah, blah, blah. Okay. You got a fridge here now. We made the mistake <laughs> of leaving the fridge on, and then we had to jump start the vehicle. <laughs> I mean, yeah. I so we've been too scared to turn it back on, but it's yeah. like a little fridge, but it does store like yeah, a surprising amount. Mm. So we just keep stuff in there. You can turn it off because we're mm. too scared to turn it on. I mean, it did smell earlier today, but we got rid of what the smell was, and that was the broccoli. So mm. uh, then there's a cupboard here, quite a large cupboard. Uh, the people who we are hired from actually, to be fair, quite cleverly have two plastic boxes here with pl plates and cups. Yeah, and I glasses. would personally just have plastic plates and cups because these ones are china and glass and it's too yeah. it's too much. I would just have plastic personally and we've just filled it with um, junk. junk food. But it's, <laughs> again, it does store more than you think. And also, um, let us know if you eat as much from our, consume as much tomato ketchup as us, because this has literally lasted us for the whole week and we're almost done. So, <laughs> I do love some Tommy K, I must mm. say. Uh, oatmeal, blah, blah, blah. And then, here we have... Ooh, okay, here we have the pans and... Yeah, pots and pans and, like, dust see, pans, yeah, stuff yeah. like that is down there. And then here and we... A bit more storage, which is also has the electrics It's got this uh, stuff. Uh, yeah, the... the, the, the electrics fuse. And the soap and the there's more storage in there as well which does cover up so that's where we're keeping clothes i've hogged that mm -hmm. so that's me and then they've got the same thing in the back here the bear, which we're using as a laundry yeah. bin. and it also has like the electric yeah. cable in it this is our old mate bear uh we call him bear two uh for many reasons one day we'll tell the story he's maybe a he's a mascot and also we have foxy this is a Van tour, not. <laughs> There's also storage up along here above the kitchen as well. Mm -hmm. So we just put lids of junk. junk. And then uh, what about in here? Okay, so in here we have a yogurt and then we have a sink. Um, again, it does have a water tank. Yeah, cold water only though, because we're a little camper. Yeah, uh, it's all switched on with electrics, blah, blah, blah. And uh, it's pretty decent to be fair. You can do a bit of washing up there. And then on this side, where the kettle is, we have the hobs again two, hobs. two, two gas, gas hobs very decent very good yeah, they work uh, quick they do they do they warm things up very quickly i mean we've you know basic food again you can make veg mm. and uh, burgers and sausage blah, we've blah, also blah. got like plugs so two plugs when you're plugged into the mains there's a usb one here there's a usb one in the front as well and then this controls like what you use like your lights 
tap and what battery you're going to use. So at the moment we're plugged into the mains, so it tells you that we are. Mm -hmm. And then the seat also has, this is the main problem with this van, you can't access the storage under the seat without going to the back of the van which is a bit annoying for me, but this folds out into a double bed. But you can pull it out and it makes the bed. And what we would suggest is, because this was leather trimmed, having a blanket underneath, because on a hot night- It's a bit sticky. You can be a bit sticky. It can, but that yeah. folds out into a flat bed. And then when you pull it back in again, you make sure this lifts up and it clicks back in and it's all done as beautiful as lovely. Yeah. And there's a table as well there that clips on. Oh yeah, you can clip the table on which there. Which is very handy. Which we use while we're eating and watching our soaps. So. Then when you get to the front cab, obviously making sure that everything is in order before you start the engine. Do it as the highway code tells you so. Mm -hmm. Oh, are they outside as well? This is. Well, the... you do that while I get the key. We've got the water and then the electrics here, which just plug in to the electrics. And then at the back of the cab, we we've got the to check the gas because the gas bottle is under here. So that's where the gas bottle goes and this is all your storage under under the chair so you have quite a bit but you just can't access it from the front you have to come around the back so it's a bit annoying you can have like a table chair and like a backpack under there but I think it's a flaw in the design because I would personally prefer to be able to access it from the front Hello. Hello, so you're in the cab. I'm in the cab, as if I'm driving. I won't start the engine because it's highly illegal because I have had a beer. So uh, it's pretty much a standard thing. The good thing is it's a six gear, so you can cruise if you're on the motorway, so that's pretty sweet. Mm -hmm. um, it's got lights and blah, 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 you know, and all kind of things. It's quite intuitive, actually. So the indicator's on the left, the windscreen marker's on the right. Yeah, the dashboard's quite informative as well, isn't it? It does, it tells you your speed and how much petrol you have. Yes. There's a cup holder there mm -hmm. and here which believe it or not is actually very helpful because you've and one there oh I didn't know that one so there's three you've got water there and then if you fancy a coffee mm. pop it in there or a beer <laughs> I'm not joking no, we don't no, condone no, no. that uh, there's also a sunglasses holder here mm. which I only just discovered today so that's pretty useful so if you can get your sunglasses mm -hmm. blah, blah. what about in here well in here is an also another little trick because you've got you can charge your phone while you're driving which yes. is actually invaluable. So it's got a USB... Yeah, a USB port so you can charge your phone as you go along. Yeah, and a 12 volt one, but we don't use that. But you can, if you've got one of those We're cigarettes. Scared. It's a cigarette lighter, right, essentially. There's also another one here, so the passenger can also be charging their phone with the cigarette lighter charger if they so want mm -hmm. to. And radio, um, phone, Bluetooth as well. well. This is the thing, you can chart, you can connect your phone to it, which <laughs> I know it's probably they've been going for years, but for us that was quite the revelation. Uh, it's AC, it's pretty decent. And, and the passenger side, as I say, it's a really nice little passenger side. Right? Yeah, it's good. Two cup holders. Well, you, you were the passenger, yeah. how did you feel? It's all very good, it all works well. It's lovely, and also an armrest, which I know sounds dumb, but it's nice to kind of Yeah, the armrests are go, nice. Yeah, yeah, I'm driving. Yeah, so it is very good fun. The only thing I don't like is the storage under the chair. I think you should be able to access it from inside the van, not at the back. That's the only thing that annoys me. Mm. But apart from that, it's a good van. So I'm going to close this. So that was the very short, quick run through tour of the van we've been using for the past week. So if you've got any questions, we can try to answer them. But I don't know if we will be able to. But um, we rate it very high. Just needs a bit of different storage to get under the chair at the front and possibly the pop-up tent the pop-up bit like don't have it red because if it's red it's really hard to sleep at night <laughs> but um there you go hope you enjoyed the van tour and i'll catch you up on the next video